Hello Collective, it is me, Alex. Hi, I'm here to bring you a general reading. I have no intentions, so what do you guys need to know? Put your energy on these cards. All right, let's do it. Woo, Eight of Wands. Things rushing towards you. Yay. Ace of Cups. Ooh, Queen of Wands and the Two of Cups. Nice. Strength, hey, Leo. Ooh, Nine of Wands. Real of Fortune. All right, so you have a lot of things going on. I feel like you might have met someone new. This person is sexy and exciting, very attractive. I feel like some of you may be um, feeling emotions for them, catching feelings. Nine of Wands is being a little guarded and wounded. You don't know if you're ready to take this to the next step, to the next level. Why? What happened? I also feel like this happened really quick. Ooh, Ace of Swords. I also feel like some of you are hearing signs. Uh, sorry, hearing signs. Really? <laughs> You're receiving signs from the universe. Telling you what to do. But you're scared of opening your heart. Oh, you think this person is going to play you. They're playing hard to get. This could be somebody that you work with. I feel like you're, I feel like you think you're ready for a relationship or to settle down, down mentally, emotionally, you're scared. Oh, you're afraid of being left or ghosted. Five of Pentacles and left out in the cold. Okay. I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, the universe is trying to change that. So I kind of feel like the universe is saying to you, collective, trust this situation. But angels, now hold up. Because there's a Seven of Swords next to the Moon card. Is there some hidden deceit here? And angels are like, no. Look at the Queen of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. That's what your heart is telling you. Your heart is scared. And it, it's because of the attraction to this person. Ooh, child. Mm-hmm. Mm. Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords, angels are saying either this person is playing hard to get or they want you to chase them. And I feel like you're... Wounds are being activated because it's like, yeah, the last person who I chased was cheating on me or deceiving me. And you don't know if that's happening in this situation. So your past issues with giving up, being given up on, feeling left out in the cold, and abandoned, abandoned, neglected. I said an abandoned with an N, abandoned. That's a new term for neglected and abandoned, N abandoned. Those are coming up, but the wheel of fortune, that's the wheel of destiny. Universe is bringing this back around or it's bringing these things up because the universe is like, all right, enough is enough. You've been carrying them in your heart for so long. Two, two of cups and a queen of pentacles, that's a decent, um, you know, alignment there. Right? Two of Cups and a Queen of Pentacles. That, I'm going to I'm gonna say it, that is almost like a sure thing. It's almost like you want stable, committal, equal love. Do I have to say it? <laughs> okay. Uh, clutch your pearls, everybody. Put the strap on your safety belt. Here comes some tough love. 
It's almost like you want to balance love, but you're not balanced within yourself. That's why this is coming along. The universe is trying to cut out the emotional deception that you're still carrying in your heart. Queen of Wands is saying to me, you're continuously attracting this. That's why you're scared and you're trying to run for your life. Because whomever this new person, new love, new emotional connection is, is scaring the shit out of you. I can relate. Hell yeah, I can relate. And I tell my clients, right? You have to remember something. When you are single, I don't care how long you've been single. The last time that your heart was activated, not necessarily meaning you or you fell in love or whatever, or you love the last time your heart was activated, it was activated towards a specific and particular person. Okay. Now, because you're single logic says they ain't with that person no more. Right? So just because you're not with them anymore, that emotional history with that person, good, bad, and ugly, still sitting in your heart. So the next time that your heart gets activated, what do you think is going to happen? That emotional history for with that past person is going to be activated too. Okay. So yeah. Oh my God. They're great and wonderful. But your heart is like, mm, child, make sure he don't cheat on you. Right. Or your brain is like, make sure he don't cheat on you or she don't cheat on you because that's the last activity your heart faced. Okay. All right. I hope that makes sense. So in this situation, the universe is saying, bruh, sis, heal the wound that's in your heart clear out the debris, the negative debris from that pe previous person, right? That's like saying, okay, this is a good example. This is a good example. If you dance, say you ballroom dance or you um, step, right? And your last partner, you stepped with them and you sprained your ankle, right? Fractured a bone, right? And y'all broke up, you don't dance with them no more. Your ankle healed somewhat, right? Now, when you want to step again, the pain from your ankle is coming up again. Okay, there we go. You're welcome. I want to make sure people are clear. That's why I give these extensive examples. That's just me. I don't want you to know. I want you to experience. I want the information to settle into your soul. All right. So yeah, you don't want to go through that whole feeling mucked up again. There's the healing card, the star card. Whatever this is collective, if you are resonating with this reading, this new love, this new situation, this new lover, this scaring the shit out of you, it is ordained, it is divine, it is a part of your evolution. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. I mean, that's pretty much saying when when angels say it's a part of your evolution, that's like saying, listen, you know, you, you were born with green eyes. Okay. And, um, is that a good example? Yeah. Eh. It's almost like you were born with green eyes. And until you change your eye color, which is impossible, which is why it's a shitty example, but it's like, until you change that about yourself, you're going to have green eyes. So it's almost like you were born into it, or it was a part of your destiny and it's up to you to transform it again. Shitty example. I apologize. That one didn't work out so much, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's see. Four of swords. Oh, you got deep feelings. Uh, you've been meditating or you need to meditate. You need to get in touch with what's going on. Knight of Swords. That's a spicy con conversation. Oh, you're a runner. Congratulations. You're a runner. You say things like, oh, well, if you're not going to do this, then we can't be together. 
or you know i don't want to be with somebody who's like you are a you are a runner <laughs> going to get that um get that endorsement on your driver's license because you don't stick around because you are hurt and wounded you are waiting for the bullshit so you can leave and then you could be like see you never what i said look at the cut master flex I just said so you could so you can leave. There's cut back. Look, she is the lever of she is the lever of Leverville. Okay. You're you're incredibly guarded. You are suspicious. You are nervous. You are scared. You are pessimistic. You don't think it's gonna work out. You know you you are automatically thinking that. This person, excuse me, is hiding something. They're, they don't mean what they say. They're bullshit. They got like 50 other people they're messing with. All right, come on cards. Three of wands. Yeah, you're, you're waiting for the other shoe to drop like a mug. You are. Because you're wounded and you're ready to give up and walk away. Now, let me explain what self-sabotaging behavior is in a nutshell. Self-sabotaging behavior is, let me look for the red flags and when I discover the red flags, I'm gonna use that red flag as a reason to walk away. But reason to walk away is also a reason not to heal, right? A reason um, not to lean into it and get to the other side. Maybe it's not their red flag, maybe it's yours, right? Maybe if it's a straggler, red flag from your past. But you don't care. You don't stick around long enough. You see the red flag and you're like, I'm out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, <laughs> you got to make it to the other. I can't. I got to go. You're emotionally now. Mm -hmm. For some of you, and this is sad, but it's sad, but I can relate to it a million percent. You would rather stay emotionally disconnected than to open your heart and be scared like a motherfucker of getting hurt. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 Charles. Mm-hmm. You would rather give up than work your way through it. Oh. You know, with the Wheel of Fortune, uh, universe is like, yeah, we're not going to let you do that this time. We're not going to let you get away with that. That's why she's the Queen of Wands, because the Queen of Wands is attractive as fuck, Okay. Not only is she attractive, she is passionate, she cute, right? She's magnetic. You can't take your eyes off of her. You can smell her when she's not around, okay? Mm -hmm. Male, female, non-binary, right? It's all symbolic. Yeah, you don't want to try, but the universe is like, but you're gonna. <laughs> I can't. Oh, <laughs> Because here's the thing, the alternative is that you stay on the bottom end of the wheel and look who's on the bottom end of the wheel, Beelzebub, okay? Your fears, your toxicity, your trauma, your hurt, your pain, all of the negativity in the universe is sitting on the bottom portion of that wheel. Look, and the Eight of Swords, uh-huh. You don't ever get to break free of your impressions. So in other words, if this person for some reason is similar to the person who broke your heart, you don't ever get to heal or resolve that or reconcile that because the new person, you're like, mm-mm, you, you just like Brian. I ain't messing with you. You just like Brian. You smell like Brian. You walk like Brian. You talk like Brian. I'm out. Universe is like, whoa, whoa, whoa there, collective. Not so fast. We gonna go through these old five of pentacles issues we gonna go through this emotional uh, disconnecting issues. Why you think the universe brought in Ace of Cups? Universe, came, universe ain't come to play. Universe brought in the big dogs. Okay, was well, like, mm -hmm. come on, collective, take all this love. And you're like, but wait, universe is like, uh, uh, what I say? Uh, -huh. <laughs> I'm going. A personal issue reaches resolution. You are in the process of healing. I feel like literally, literally anybody who resonates with this reading, look down. 
because you are in a healing space, right? Like you are right in the throes of some sort of breakthrough. What mm, energy is gaining momentum? A uh, fiery climax approaches. Bring love into the situation. I like that. Bring love into the situation. That's that parasympathetic response. So most of the times, whenever us as human beings um, experience something that's traumatic, our nervous system goes haywire, right? But once the threat is alleviated, there's that parasympathetic response that the nervous system starts to say, who child, that was a close call, but girl, you gonna be okay. Dude, my dude, you gonna be fine. Chill, like go get a drink of water. Just breathe, just breathe, right? That's a part of the healing process. And I feel like if you are scared out of your, you know, pantyhose, if they still make those, um, I feel like they're bringing love back into the situation is that healing, that nurturing that says it's not going to be so bad. And you know what? Just, just take your time or go slow or, you know, you don't have to do this or, you know, pray and ask God, right? There has to be that kind of good angel on your shoulder that says, it'll be okay. You're going to be fine. Okay. Angel said, even hearing you say that makes some of them relaxed. Amazing. Surrender to the divine. Yeah. Y'all need to get, yeah. Some of y'all need to meditate and connect with your spiritual team, spiritual guidance, um, your religion, your spirituality, whatever you want to call it, your belief system. And I feel like you, in that connection, God angels in the universe are going to send continuous messages to you. Like, look, keep going. It'll be okay. I got your back. You know, I'm not going to let you fall. I'm not going to let you crumble. I'm not going to let you drown. I'm going to be here. I always have your back. Three of wands is sitting here. Yeah. Take your freaking time, right? Do you have to get married tomorrow? No, you don't. So take your time, take your time in love, right? As you are working through your fears and also your past trauma and pain. Who does this reading, who is this reading for? Eh, do I need to call out the signs? Eh, angels are saying this is for, I can't, I, I want to say all of their names in one, one word, but air, fire, and water. I feel like my earth, um, earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is everybody else. You know, my air signs who are thinkers, right? My water signs who are feelers, my fire signs who are actors, right? They act, they move, they, you know, they move forward, you know? Earth signs are just sitting there. Earth signs is just sitting there playing in the dirt, right? The rest of us are out here just scaring the crap out of ourselves. Anyway, collective, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you. Bye.